In this video, I'm going to be showing you the correct way to calculate the annual return and the annual standard deviation of a multi-asset portfolio. Now the tough part is really the annual standard deviation. And if you've ever seen a portfolio management textbook, you've probably seen this formula. This is the formula for a two asset portfolio, but the formula gets increasingly more crazy as you add securities. So this is the formula for a three asset portfolio to calculate the standard deviation. And it just gets exponentially larger and larger as you add more securities. But I'm going to show you how you can calculate all of this extremely simply and easily in Excel. So let's jump right into the data. So the first thing that we're looking at are adjusted close prices for five different securities. So our example portfolio is five different securities. And the reason we're using adjusted close prices is because the adjusted prices are more accurate for portfolio uh, measurement and evaluation as they include the effects of dividends and stock splits. So make sure that you're using adjusted close prices. We have this data for two years, starting uh, from the 5th of April of 2021, going all the way to the start of April of 2023. And so we've got the prices for every day. The first thing we want to do is calculate the log normal daily returns and make sure that you're using log normal daily returns and not simple returns because the log normal returns will make our lives a lot easier going forward. So the first thing we're gonna do is say equals LN, and then we're going to take the price of the second day of this asset and divide it by the price of the first day and hit enter. And so we can see that the log normal daily return for this day for SPY was negative 0.06%. And I'm just gonna copy that and I will hold shift on my keyboard, hit right arrow, and then hold control and shift and drop. Eh, actually, I'll go into this column, hold control, down arrow, and then I'll use right arrow to go over, and then hold control, shift, and then up arrow, and then I'm going to paste formulas with a right click. And so we've got the log normal daily returns for every single one of these securities. Now that we've calculated the daily returns, let's move over to our sheet called calculations. And you'll see here, we've got a table for all five of our securities, and we're going to calculate the annual return, the standard deviation, and the average weight for each of these five. Let's start with annual return for SPY. And because the returns were log normal, you're gonna have a pretty interesting formula here. So it's going to be equal to EXP, which is, um, returns E raised to the power of a given number. So we're gonna use basically continuous compounding. And then we'll take average. And within this average formula, we're gonna take the range of all of the returns for SPY, all those daily values. So basically what we're trying to do there is take the average daily return, and then we're going to multiply it by 252 because there's approximately 252 trading days in a year. And then we're going to subtract this entire thing by one. And this should be as close to the most mathematically correct way that we can calculate annual return. And then let's just paste these um, for all of the securities. So we've got the annual returns for all five securities now. And now here's where we're going to have to calculate the uh, standard deviation of each security. And this formula is not too difficult. We just goes equal to um, variance. And so we can either do dot P or dot S. Let's just say dot S because it's this, the S stands for sample and it's not a huge range of data. So we'll use sample instead of population. And then we're going to grab the same range as previously. So I'll just uh, select the first um, Return for SPY, hold control shift and hit down arrow. And then I'm gonna close that. And so what this is doing is it's giving us the variance of the daily returns. But what we're gonna have to do is multiply by 252 to annualize it. And then we're going to have to wrap the entire thing in a square root function to make sure that we get the standard deviation because standard deviation is the square root of variance. And then I'll hit enter. Okay, so we've got the uh, annual standard deviation for SPY here. I'll hit control C, and then I'm just going to paste uh, formulas over here. 
And now the last thing we're going to want to do in this table is calculate the average weight of each security. As far as using weights goes for calculating the portfolio standard deviation, most of what I've seen on the internet is people just take the current weights in their portfolio and then they use those in the formula to calculate the standard deviation. But I don't think that is the most accurate way to do it because in most portfolios, the number of securities in the portfolio in each position is constantly changing over the life of the portfolio. So I believe that using an average weight would be more accurate than using the ending weight. But I understand if your portfolio doesn't have uh, a breakout of all of the shares of every day for each position, then you can just use the ending weight and it's okay. But what we're gonna do here is use the average weight. So we're gonna go back to raw data and we have a breakout of all of the shares in our portfolio here, right? And this is just every day we see how all these shares are changing across all five positions. The first thing that we're going to need to do is calculate a total portfolio value for every single day. And so we'll just do equals and then we will take some product. So some product just multiplies two arrays together. So this is the first array, which is all the prices. And then we're going to multiply each price by the number of shares that we have in that security. And we'll hit enter, right? And so we find out that this portfolio had $116,000 of value on the first day of the period. We'll hit control C, right it, or left arrow over to this column, hold control, hit down arrow, uh, right arrow over, hold control shift and hit up arrow, and then control V to paste. And so we can see the breakout of our portfolio value every single day. And now we just want to find how much money do we have in each position? Basically, what is the weighted amount? So what percent of this portfolio value is an SPY on this day? And to do that, we'll just do equals and we'll just take the number of shares of SPY on that day. And then we'll go over here to multiply it by the price of the stock on that day. And then we will divide by that total portfolio value. But before we get out of this uh, formula, we're going to need to do one thing. We're going to need to lock the total portfolio value um, in column T. So I'm just going to hit a dollar sign right before the T and hit enter. And then I basically set up this portfolio so that it would be equally weighted at the start of the period. So if I hit control C and paste formulas over this range, you'll see we had 20% each of these shares. But um, now I'll just hit control C and I'm gonna go over here, hold control, down arrow, right arrow over, hold shift to highlight the whole range, and then hold control shift and hit up arrow, and then control V to paste. And you'll see that as time went on, we had more weight going into various positions such as uh, SPY started getting more heavily weighted. Okay, so we've got the average weights. Oh, well, we have the weights, now we'll get the average weights. So, We'll go back to the calculation sheet, go into this cell, hit equals average, and then we will grab just this entire range of data. Hit control, shift, and down arrow, enter. So our average weight in SPY was 21.3%. I'll hit control C and then paste formulas over this range, and we can see our average weight in each of these securities. Now, like I said, if you don't have this breakout of uh, shares by day, you can just go to the very, let's say, final day of your own portfolio and just use these weights straight away. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that the annual return calculations for these securities are about as close to accurate as we can get as possible. But there is one thing that you could do, which is a little outside the scope of this video to make them more accurate. You could use a weighted average based on the daily returns and the weightings of each date to make them a little bit more um, accurate. Anyways, moving on, let's calculate what you all came here for, the portfolio summary statistics, and we're gonna start off with the annual return. So I added another column in the raw data sheet called total portfolio daily returns. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is calculate the log normal daily returns just like we did for each security. So we'll do equals LN on the second day, and then we'll take that day's value and divide by the uh, daily value of the previous day. Enter, uh, control C, and then control down arrow, and then control shift up arrow, and then control V to paste. So now we've got the total daily uh, 
returns for the portfolio for every single day. And we'll go back to calculations. And we're going to use the same exact formula that we used for the daily return. So I'm just going to copy that. I'll go down here, paste it. But it's in column U. So I'll just really quickly change the uh, the H's to U. So we just grab that whole data range there. And so we found out that we've lost 2.08% uh, annually on this portfolio. And now for the part you've probably all been waiting for, calculating the standard deviation of a multi-asset portfolio. I'm going to warn you, it's a little heavy, but I should be able to walk you through it. So the first thing that we need to do, which I've already uh, done, is in the where the log normal returns are for the each uh, stock position, I just copied and pasted them here because we need the data in this row, and you'll see why right now. So we're gonna have to create a covariance matrix right here. And to do that, you need to go to your data tab and make sure that you have in the analyze tab, the data analysis pack available. If you don't see this, go to file, options, add-ins, and then where it says manage Excel add-ins, hit go, and make sure that you check the box for analysis tool pack and hit okay. So once you've got that, Let's go to the data analysis tool pack and hit covariance, okay? And so the first thing we're gonna need to do is input our data range. And that's just gonna be our log normal daily returns. And we'll grab this whole range right here, control shift down arrow, and just grab all of the returns. And then we need to make sure that we've checked the box labels in the first row because we put labels in the first row. And then for output range, we'll just select uh, whichever cell we want. So I'm using B13 and hit okay. And so now we've created our covariance matrix, which just tells us the covariance between each of the five um, assets in this portfolio. So using this number, for example, this is the covariance between BND and SPY. And this one is the covariance between GLD and SPY. But one thing you'll notice is that if we go this way, these are the same uh, matchups. So BND, SPY, GLD, SPY, as we saw here. So we're going to need to populate all these values. And we can do that using Excel's inbuilt transpose function, which is an array formula. So we type equal. Well, actually, before I type this, I need to select this whole range like that. And then I'll type equals transpose. And I'll just grab all these values. And then I'll hold control shift enter. So remember, control shift enter because it's an array formula. So that's how you get to spill over from this cell to the next ones. So let's do the same thing here, equals uh, transpose, and then we'll grab these values here, control shift enter, once again, equals transpose, control shift enter, and for this one, I can just make it equal to that value. And there we go, we have our whole covariance matrix, we are ready to calculate uh, portfolio standard deviation. And I'll warn you, this is a bit long formula and I'll try to explain each part of it as we go through. So first thing we're going to do is type equals square root because what we're putting inside of this square root function is going to be calculating the variance of the portfolio. And like I said earlier, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Okay. So that being said, we'll use the M or mult formula, which this basically multiplies two arrays together and returns their product. And we're going to use the mmult formula again. Like I said, I know it's like it's a little bit overwhelming this formula, but uh, trust me, the math works. I've verified it in Python. So I'm going to grab this whole range here, which is the weights, and then we'll hit comma, and then we'll grab the whole covariance matrix. So what we're basically doing is multiplying the weights and the covariance matrix. Okay, so we'll close that with a parenthesis, then we'll do comma transpose. And once again, we're grabbing the weights. And then we're going to multiply all of this by 252 because we're looking at daily values. So we want to annualize it. And then we will just close that function. And there we have it. The standard deviation of a multi-asset portfolio in Excel. Just a walk in the park, wasn't it, guys? So easy. All right. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.